I was thinking how about making the very gorgeous flower but how about making three of them let's paint some beautiful flowers using this pretty palette I discovered it while making some uh, short and real and I just really loved it and I thought you know what let's just do it let's make the version on the big page and let's create a gorgeous gorgeous a bouquet or maybe set of three 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 flowers <laughs> three flowers I'm thinking um how about adding maybe this one here let's see I wouldn't be surprised if each flower will turn out a bit different <laughs> and the red one maybe like here that's interesting color combo isn't it but I can show you that I already painted I already painted this one with these paints but I'm not too sure if my uh, choice of dots and placing is the correct one to be honest so uh, I think it's not that's okay I think we're just gonna end up with something super pretty just uh, like that let's see um, I'm touching this pigment there and dragging and there we go and something like this cleaning of the brush and let's do it again dragging this pigment turn it around gorgeousness now if you fancy moving this around awesome oh I love this clean of the brush excess I'll show you how much water here is the cleaning out out and that's it it's still wet but it's not really wet like okay we need a touch of this pigment here drag it turn around your brush because it's upside down there we go clean off there we go and I think I'm looking at it possibly we're just gonna have two flowers only not three bunch of three because they mean no room on the on the page if if I manage to even squeeze one more um, brush here on the pigment move it around there we go if we can we can just add a touch of some reddish pigment something like that and if you feel like oh we lost a lot of color in between because sometimes it may happen look just add it away however it feels right and if you fancy adding some extra tealishy color sure why not look how pretty gorgeous this is also I love that yellow I have to say how about adding a touch of that yellow even more since everything is pretty much wet we can easily just do that and you know what I'm gonna leave it to dry in itself I may just try to get um, these uh, little dots again here on the side and we're gonna possibly make just one more flower it may be a bit difficult I never did two flowers in one time I may somehow crash into this one we, <laughs> we shall see I'm gonna try to make something similar however I may not put the, the dots in the same actually order which is okay too I think and I think I'm already having a different color uh, combination order well that's okay now that's right we can always as you could see add a little color uh, elsewhere and that's okay maybe here <laughs> why not why not let's just have extra and then I'm pretty much fast I hope you can see that because we really need to make sure that we have oopsie plenty time uh, to what uh, to <laughs> to play here now which dots I'm gonna get Ooh, that's a little bit ooh, maybe like this oh oh wow oh perfect gorgeous looking super now clean up the brush excess of water and let's move on to the next one which is here oh this is so pretty maybe I mix it up with another petal that's okay look that's okay <laughs> I think I did mix it with another petal so I'm gonna just drag this one and here it is oh this is so gorgeousness and I'm gonna grab this one here turn it around move the pigment and quickly before the other are gonna dry on us there we go 
super disjoint that's okay it can happen and we can add a little extra touch there I love it now to make them sort of looking similar we can just add a touch of that red pigment there we go and also a touch of that yellow in here and also lastly a touch of that delicate teal right which is so pretty and it makes such a gorgeous shades oh wow I just love it we have two flowers I think two is plenty one thing is that I have plenty of dots on the page which is okay if you fancy cleaning this off there we go quickly clean it off maybe here as well and last one there we go let's dry this now before drying actually sorry before drying how about adding a little touches of you can fix in a way a shape of your flower if you feel like oh let's make a little bit like a doily effect like a um, as if this is what's the word a lacy sort of effect on our flower you can do that look you can do that no problem and same for the bigger flower it's not even too late because we can still add some touches of that lacy feel to the flower I'm not really looking at the colors which one I'm touching it's just touch here and there here and there and if you fancy adding a little extra touch because it's gonna make it a little bit fuller a little bit more interesting maybe unless you don't like it that's okay too there we go we can just add it like that uh, and if you like oh maybe this color look you can just grab some pigment and I love it now do you know what in the other flower actually what I have done is I have removed the excess of that extra color pigment the, the end pigment sort of thing what I have done is I grabbed the towel and just instead of waiting this long I just grabbed it and just just got this extra excess of that uh, pigment because obviously mm, the paper is bending and it goes there we go and it goes um, the the flat the color itself just runs away mm, at the edges so to make the process of drying a little bit faster to be honest because it's plenty of water you can just grab some tissue and just wash it off a little bit in places there we go and it's gonna be a little bit faster for us to dry and also I think we're getting rid of this mocky sort of color because at the edges unless you love it that's okay too depending but sometimes at the edges you have this mocky nearly too much and you may like oh no no it's not maybe not so there we go I think it is so gorgeousness I love that let's dry this now everything is dry but it's kind of scrunched the paper so I'm gonna have my heavy cardstock paper now on top of that and this will flatten it because everything is hot underneath it it's like iron now this should flatten this a little bit so let's just wait let, let two three minutes we're gonna wait okay let's reveal super pretty time to doodle I will be using my special doodle pen that I love it's the Pilot GTEC C4 and I will be doing my recent favorite um, middle part of the flower which is like tap 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 so little dots it's a very time consuming process um, but it is so doable and it is so achievable and it's so pretty once it's done and once you get the idea of shading I think it is such a gorgeous technique um, I've seen people using dots in general to create the whole paintings like the amount of patience they have it's incredible mm, I'm not even gonna attempt any of it but I think this middle part of the flower makes it so very dif um, not difficult to delicate I wanted to say delicate and pretty and just so gently and it feels really really realistic and very depth very deep um, depth it's visual and it's just so gorgeous I love it so the less um, inside the flower the less little dots goes inside the flower and more outside 
you will see it for yourself that it's actually so funny because bigger flower and a smaller uh, circle and then this one has bigger circle and smaller flower we shall see i think it would be fabulous if we could have a little bit of a teal leaves i'm gonna try to attempt the leaves for these flowers and to be honest i haven't done any of it like that but i think it would be just phenomenal to try to give it a c and have like one leaf and two leaf maybe two leaves or something like that i'm gonna go around and just have a little bit of bigger circle going for this flower so it won't look that small too small for the petal size and keep on going like gently gently now you can use any black pen you have honestly use what you have please do not think you have to use what i'm using it's not true you can totally use what you have you can totally create your own collection selection of colors however it feels right choose your favorite color combo come up with some favorite color combo i just grabbed these and i just thought wouldn't that be just amazing if i add white to the teal and white to the red and then white to the orangey yellow and there we go you have the most gorgeousness lollipopy <laughs> color scheme <gasps> lollipop that gives me idea i could use this palette and create a lollipop and i may actually do that a short with the lollipop stick imagine that would be super pretty so as you can tell i'm going around bigger circle create a bigger center for the flower talking to you all the time so you won't be skipping the video you won't be bored <laughs> i wonder if you enjoy the chats like this well i could press the music if you think that it would be better to speed up this process with the music let me know in the comments i may do that for the next video no problem just speed up the process and show you the final look only and then have the music in the background maybe that would be better i don't know i just rather you to let me know because this way i'll know what you wish to see and what to expect from me next time let's do similar thing here and um, it's a very pretty way of creating the inside and i i'm slowly stepping away from the ones that i have been doing all the time but knowing me i will come up with something else i want to see probably some other inspiration elsewhere on some other project maybe my own maybe someone else and i'd be like implementing little elements and changing towards my own because that's how the inspiration works you see it somewhere maybe and you are inspired by that and you just trying your hand on it and seeing if you can if you can actually implement that to your own project to your own techniques and join these that's how we come up with new things by looking at other stuff grabbing the inspiration implementing to your own vision and creating a new vision that's at least how i understand that now i think we can safely say that this already is so pretty so let's just have few lines going very gentle swish 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 very gentle few only and maybe this time i'm not going to be going as deep as the other i don't know we shall see but i'm just more thinking that we could leave this even more simpler or not or will that feel unfinished <laughs> i don't know um i like the idea of having um our middle part very much in depth with the shading and all so i don't know we shall see because i think my biggest issue is that i rush all the time and i feel that i i i go halfway because it's just not enough time and i'm not taking enough time to actually do something which i think it's wrong you in order to learn and to discover things you just have to keep on doing stuff and not going shortcuts right and sometimes i'm very easy pleased by shortcuts i have to say i like that too because life has a lot to offer and sometimes it's just easier to to go in the shortcut someone had discovered something and we may use that shortcut and i like that too but then recently i'm really sitting on my own and trying to achieve different things and enjoy the process now do you know what i'm gonna leave this for now i'm i will grab my my greeny thing and just some paper just out of curiosity um maybe we can do um this kind of leafy leaf next to our 
flower. I think so. I think this could be really nice. Now I'm not that um, aware of how to do it yet, but we can do it together. We're gonna learn with it together, right? So let's try. So this brush, if you're wondering, this one is actually not watercolor brush, it's, it's ranger brush, but any roundy brush with a tip probably, not probably, most definitely would work. So jump for that and let's have a little bit of play with, there we go, maybe this could just be, oh I love that already. Okay, I was a little bit stressed. But this is pretty good, I think. It's okay, Marta. Just relax. Oh, oh, husband, husband, husband. It's phone, not mine. <laughs> um, I don't know about this now, but do you know what? It's okay. We can just have this one like that. And maybe this one like this or something. Maybe let's grab. Oh, there we go. I think my idea as well is to to just simply grab a brush and just smush this out. There we go. But also dry this and oh, maybe there's a little bit of yellow. Uh, dry this and also um, uh, doodle on top of that. How is that? I think that would be just super. And look. So just the touches of that yellow, you know, it's okay. That, wow, I love this now. Touches of yellow, touches of that teal. I just mixed up the palette, but you know what? That's okay too. I love it. It is gorgeousness. I love that. So pretty. Now praise yourself. Oh, you haven't seen it. I'm so sorry. Whoops. Silly Marta. Silly, silly Billy. I didn't see, I didn't notice, oops, I didn't notice that you haven't seen this bit on the camera. Okay, well, now, this is drying. While this is drying, we can continue a little bit with our, with our doodles, just a little bit to make this a little extra dark in here. So the kind of out out there of the roundy uh, center, it's going to be a little bit more even uh, darker. Yes, that's the right, correct word. I'm thinking as well to maybe outline. Well, I will definitely be adding this kind of thing and also this kind of, I love it. And how about going a little bit outlining like this and maybe outlining like this. There we go. Not, I'm not too precise guys. We are not here to precisely do everything. It's just how it feels and how it feels. Yeah, that's the best way to put it. And if you fancy adding even more of this water in here, super. Oh, that's so pretty. That is so pretty, honestly. Let's leave this uh, leafy leaf to dry. And let's focus a little bit on finishing this. Now, will I add glitter? I think for this one, no. Maybe for the next one, we'll add glitter and see. Uh, I think I'm kind of wishing for... Um, a different shape of a flower now if I could come up with some other idea I would love that so I will definitely be working on this to bring you different flowers different shapes in the same uh, super idea of, um, of of drawing painting with the dots I love that idea I think it is fantastic now a little bit of more doodles touching here and there there we go making sure that we have nice and nice and gently nice and um shady shading <laughs> shady shading <laughs> when you're when english is not your first language you may really talk funny stuff um there we go there we go i love it i think it is so gorgeousness but you know what i'm gonna add even more of these lines in here of the darker 
kind of making it even more do visible, even more interesting, even more um, having the depth in our inside insert of the flower. There we go. Even more. I love that. I think it's just gorgeous. And also add even more of these lines. So pretty. So pretty. Wow. This is so gorge. Praise yourself, guys. Honestly, you deserve the best. And if you are loving your work and you have no one else around to tell you how well you did, you can praise yourself. You know, that's okay. <laughs> I always praise myself because I and I praise my kids as well. I praise my husband too. However, he doesn't <laughs> like this. Kids loves it. Of course they'll do. So praise yourself and yeah. Do you know what? I think I'm going to leave it at that because I'm very close to thinking, oops, I may just do too much or something and I wouldn't like to feel that I overdid it. I can take a lesson with this particular project and have a thing for maybe next time I'm going to do it like this. Maybe next time I'm going to, well, definitely I'm going to have camera better angled at, at the leaves because I haven't seen that you haven't seen it, which is okay. It can happen and that's okay. Um, we have some yellow here for, I don't know, where is this coming from? Look how different these are. It's so cute to see them. Oh, I love it. I love that so very much. This is much more delicate, which, which is so pretty as well. Um, gorgeous, like seriously gorgeous. I think I took so much more time in the inside here. And I think I love it because... I could definitely take, you can see that, um, oh I know I've done it, some dots here, oh I love that idea, how about adding, absolutely, how about adding some few dots, let's just move the palette there and add some few dots here, there we go, uh, it reminds me this inside of the flower, it reminds me a little bit of a sun, <laughs> a little bit of a sun, it is so pretty. I wonder, do you like the doubled uh, now flower? Do you like this? Uh, would you like me to do more of these? Where we have two flowers, maybe we do different colors. One flower like that, one flower like this. I just wonder your thoughts. You could uh, let me know what to paint next. What's your idea? I, I'm all ears. I really would love to hear from you. Let's add extra here. I think this could be even darker on that end on that edge here oh I love it and here as well okay now I'm gonna be saying it's done because I'm <laughs> close to worry that I will overdo something now um, so here it is super pretty super gorgeous I really truly hope you liked it and enjoyed it and um, so happy painting my friends try it for yourself you will totally uh, be addicted from it as I have become to be honest so happy painting have a beautiful gorgeous day and I'll speak to you very soon bye for now bye bye